That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. Freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Or Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. Uncle told me something about a train. Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. Shut up. You might be the first bastard to train. I'll get the supplies. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. Maybe. Come on. Ken, Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting again. Man! For the sins of another. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? Daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And we're away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. You and Arthur, right out of And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get gone. Risk out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... Scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. People, we stirred up all that trouble. You, and who are you? Rip Van Winkle. You boys found my pappy's watching. Ah! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. you all For right? everything. Yeah. Just simple country boys. There. Jack, Jack. Fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail. Can I go play now? Someone must have squealed. You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. No more deals. Mr. Milton! Jack, Jack. Fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? The boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Bill! Put your guns down! You left me! Left me to die. I didn't have a choice. Left me. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we time? Jack. 
Where's your host? Pa! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. But a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Full country boys. There. You brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. John. It was talking to hanging me, Dutch. Oh. <laughs> I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. <laughs> Always seem to need rescue in Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them and can still handle it. Hey. 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 John. Hello, you two. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for... You think you are better than ever. Yes. Hey, no rules in war, Mr. Matthew. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. What's going on? Listen. I'm nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... No. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge, we all do bad things. But... Wants to create more enemies. More. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something, do you? You can. But what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? For me. It would make me feel. A little. But listen to me. You gotta run and don't look back. This is over. For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You you got a family. You, me? For safekeeping. You know something? Abigail. I think she might know where some of that money is. And we'll find out just who. I, I don't know, Arthur. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't. You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! Bill, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. <coughs> He's lying. He's lying! Put your guns down! All right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. 
You're my brother. I don't know. 